Good day, boys and girls. Welcome back to the Year 3 English class. Today, we are going to try the exercise in your workbook at page 60. Shall we start with the listening activity? Great! Before we start, let's look at the picture and name the place. Picture A is a place where people go to see plays or other live performances. What do we call this place? Yes, it is theatre. Theatre. Move on to picture B. It's the place where we live. So this is home. Home. Let's look at picture C. There's a burger here. It's a place you can eat a meal and pay for it. The food here is usually served by a waiter or waitress. What do we call this place? It is restaurant. Restaurant. Picture D. It's a place where people go to watch films. Or we can call it a movie theater. So. This place is cinema. Cinema. The last picture, picture E, is a place where people can go shopping here. So this is shopping center. Shopping center. Now, we are going to start the listening activity. For each question, I will repeat the audio for two times. Please listen to it carefully. Hey Steve, hi Todd. Where were you yesterday afternoon? We were at the theatre. At the cinema? No, we were at the theatre next to the bookshop. Hey Steve, hi Todd, where were you yesterday afternoon? We were at the theatre. At the cinema? No, we were at the theatre, next to the bookshop. Hey Eve, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Guess where I was yesterday evening? Were you at home? No, I wasn't. I was at a new restaurant. The food was great. Hey, Eve. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Guess where I was yesterday evening? Were you at home? No, I wasn't. I was at a new restaurant. The food was great. Where were you yesterday morning, Harry? I was at school, of course. But yesterday was Saturday. Oh, yes. I wasn't at school. I was at the shopping centre. Where were you yesterday morning, Harry? I was at school, of course. But yesterday was Saturday. Oh, yes. I wasn't at school. I was at the shopping centre. Hey, Penny. Guess where I was yesterday? I don't know. Were you at the shopping centre? No, I wasn't at the shopping centre. I was at home with my friends. It was my sister's birthday. The party was fun. Hey, Penny. Guess where I was yesterday? I don't know. Were you at the shopping centre? No, I wasn't at the shopping centre. I was at home with my friends. It was my sister's birthday. The party was fun. It's the time to check your answers. Did you get it all correct? Congratulations! Now I'm going to show you how to use was and were correctly. Was and were are both the past tense of verb to be. We use was 
for the singular nouns or pronouns, which means there's only one person there. Like I was, he was, she was, it was, John was. If there are more than one person or uh, for the plural nouns or pronouns, we have to use were. Like you were, we were, they were, Cindy and Anna were. Usually, we use was and were with the time expression such as yesterday. Like yesterday, I was at the rivalry. He was sleeping at 12 o'clock last night. Let's try the exercise in activity 2. Read and write and then fill in the blanks with words or words. Number 1. Paul and John at a pet shop yesterday. Let's look at here. Paul and John. There are two persons here. So you should use were. Correct. Number 2. I at the playground yesterday afternoon. The answer is was because I is a singular noun. Number three, Jenny at the hospital yesterday. Jenny is a singular noun. So the answer is was. Number four, Dev and I at the theater yesterday evening. There are two versions here, so we should use were. Yes. Number five, he at home in the morning. He is singular nouns. So the answer is was correct. Question number six, where? New yesterday morning. Let's look at here. New is one person. It's a singular noun. So the answer is was correct. Activity 3. Read and take the correct pictures. In this activity, we are going to read the text here. There are altogether three sentences and six pictures, which means that you have to take three pictures based on these three sentences. Yesterday morning, Kim was at home. The keyword here is morning. And you have to choose the correct answer between picture one and picture two. As you can see here, both of the pictures shows that Kim was having the meal. However, they have the meal at different time. In picture A, look at the window. The outside of the house is dark. So Kim is have, was having her dinner. And in picture B, the sky is bright. At this time, Kim was having her breakfast. So, can you guess which picture is the correct answer? Good. The answer is picture B. The next sentence, at the afternoon, she was at the park with her friend Anne. Again, you have to choose the correct picture between picture number three and picture number four. So the keyword here is at the afternoon. So at the afternoon, the sky is bright rather than dark. So the answer is 
picture number three. Correct. The test ended. In the evening, she was at the cinema. So let's look at uh, picture five. The clock shows that it's 12 o'clock and the sky is bright. So it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Whereas picture six, the clock shows that it's 7 o'clock. And at this time, the sky is getting darker and it's the time around sunset. So it's 7 o'clock in the evening. The answer is picture 6. That's all for today's lesson. And I hope you enjoy learning English with me. Goodbye and see you.